Uh, hello, sorry for delaying the episode beyond the yard work. So, uh, Illicard, care to introduce your, your pick? Yes, I picked Conan the Barbarian, uh, 1982 variation. Uh, it is a, a, a sword and sorcery film, is what they call it. It's like an adventure film, action film. I think it's uh, high fantasy, I think it's the t- yeah, yeah. This Starring sword Arnold and sorcery is the term. Schwarzenegger. Uh, it's based on a uh, Robert E. Howard uh, character. He wrote books about it. He was a pretty interesting guy. I forgot where he was. I think somewhere in the south, but I think he died young. Um, I honestly much- think uh, one of Arnie's uh, best active performers. Uh, yeah, it was his first uh, performance where he actually. Which was Wait, did they dub for... over his other performances? The, the first one, which was the Hercules in New York, was dubbed over him. Yeah. Oh my god. After, I mean... after that, he did uh, Pumping Iron, and I mean, that was in the movie as a documentary, so he did talk in that one, obviously. I like, mean, the one that really much... Really much lines to speak in this one. Um, <laughs> can we talk about the opening, how, like, uh, when Conan's talking with his father about how like, so, all the giants and gods are, like, dead now, and it's just man and their iron. I thought that was a well-done scene. Yeah, yeah. yes. That's true. That's I like, nice. I like yeah. the opening. Yeah. Like, it was a good uh, introduction. Watch, watching his parents, like, um, smith the uh, sword. And then you got robotic uh, James Earl Jones, and he just, like, randomly appears in the scene, and he can't fucking act. <laughs> so, to that, like, what do you think, like, the roles that gods play in this movie? I... Like... I think it's more of an exaggeration um, because there's a scene that's like in the first act where Conan meets the meets the first thief, you know, that he becomes friends with, and uh, they're comparing their gods. I think it's just more like it's more like a Viking kind of belief in God, which is based in reality. So I think that the gods are exaggerating this movie, and that men are just men, and they fight and die. I think there's a definite presence of God. Um... They're a subtle influence. Yeah, it's uh, more of a... It, it's kind of like what Vikings did in real life, how they believed in gods. Because uh, Vahel, Vahel, I can't pronounce it, but uh, uh-huh. the Viking uh-huh. underworld is mentioned. Yeah, Valhalla. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, there's like one scene where um, uh, uh, Conan's girlfriend dies. And then uh, she, she, come, she comes back as a... Uh, to like save Conan for like a split second, and like, that could be um, the influence of um, Conan's God. Um, I think oh. the first act, the first act was very slow paced, but it, it once they get to the palace, you know, with the giant snake, I think it starts to pick up more. I th- I think I think it had to build like Conan's character. Like, yeah, because like they show him in that concentration camp for like many years. What what yeah. role did that slavery play? To, uh, his yeah, he used to I don't really know. For the character, you know, like it made him what he is. The whole uh, slavery. Yeah. Did it mold him as a man? Dude, uh, that that uh, that scene in the hut where the where the where the vents like. Why don't you come, uh, uh, you know, come with me by the fire? And he's like, okay. And then, oh, like, she turns out to be a succubus, motherfucker. Well, it seemed like, oh, yeah. you know, slavery, it strengthened him. He learned how to fight, being a gladiator. But he was pretty ignorant of the world around him. He sort of depended on that slavery. That slavery was his life, uh, and it gave him everything. Even his emotions got, uh nerfed because he made uh a good character um in a way because it, it it put him on the kind of the same level of knowledge about the world as the as the audience uh mm-hmm. they kind of play with this uh when his um lover dies in that one he's like uh Conan can't cry so i'll cry for him because you know he doesn't really understand him yeah okay uh, that's a good uh, yeah. point yeah when his lover when valera dies and they're burning her uh sub- uh sabotai i think he uh does he cry for him? Um, I also wanted to know, like Thulsa Doom, his standard, you know, the the symbol of his cult, two conjoined oh, snakes yeah. that are staring at each other over the blackened moon. Like, what do you see in that symbol? 
What does it mean? To I you? think it represents uh, Doom's uh, Doom the villain's uh, like lust for power and like how he doesn't care about anything around him, and it casts a shadow over everything. Uh, this is definitely like a. Uh, uh, snakes tend to be tend to be like uh, snakes represent like immortality in a lot of stories, and uh, yeah. Doom is over ten thousand years old in this story. Yeah. So that snakes are also sort of a symbol of uh, like, trickery. For, mm. Like I don't know, maybe uh, his mastery over like uh. Me personally, I think I think it just represents uh, Doom's like hold on everything, including Conan. Uh, yeah. This is exaggerated at the end, where he's like, "I, um, you, what's your world without me, Conan?" You know, because he, he has such a hold over his life. That's a good point, actually. Yeah, because see, to me, it seems like they're enveloping the sun and the moon that's in between them. You know, they're looking at each other from each side. They're both surrounding perimeter, so they have that grasp for yeah. What, you know, at that I, time, I noticed was... that throughout the entire story, what the, what that so, symbol kind of meant. At the time, um, like you have to consider that uh, uh, people uh, people thought that the sun and the moon were basically uh, godly aspects. Yes, yes, yes. So you could say like um, it's uh, him claiming his mastery over the uh, over the gods. Over and uh, God. can I just say the paradise scene was uh, probably one of. Oh, that was. I was gonna fucking ask what your favorite scene was, actually, or everyone. Fucking favorite. giant hammer, dude. <laughs> Nathan and I were laughing at that when he knocked the column down. <laughs> and it he fucking, fucking knocks him hand. over. <laughs> yeah, he just <laughs> looks. He looks at his eyes like fucking doesn't know his own strength. Like fucking <laughs> retard strength over there. <laughs> but uh, there's some there's some very good cinematography in this movie. Like um, yeah. at the end of that one battle. Well, that was my like, favorite scene. Yeah, the Battle of the Mounds. That was my did this. Yeah, the shots are great. It's such a when shame they're... that the cinematography is good, but like the acting's kind of not. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> it's. I don't think it's more of a, an acting movie. You know? They picked Arnold, who's like brand. I did new. get a lot of Mad Max uh, vibes from the scenery as well. I mean, I, I liked it. That's kind yeah, of strange because right. you're coming from like lots of desert. Yeah, I had no issues with the. Acting. Myself. I, don't know. I'm not I mean, it's either. definitely an improvement over like Commando and other shit he's done. Yeah, <laughs> like, the whole film was like, um, uh, like kind of a low budget affair by the looks of it. Twenty million. Really? Yeah, fifty-one million by today's standards. It's, uh, I mean, it's almost like eighty million. I, I like how uh, Conan meets the narrator halfway through, and then it's and then he stops narrating for a while. I think that's an interesting concept. Or Conan Mako is narrating. Yeah, the wizard well, guy. Uh, well, the wizard guy. Yeah, well, that's yeah. his name, Mako. Yeah, the wizard guy was his future. Yeah, it's definitely not a. It's definitely not a ground bacon fantasy movie, but for what it is, it's camp. So, yeah. what about the riddle of Steve? Like, what do you make of it, uh, Peter Afro? What do you think? Wait, can you cut it off a bit? What were you saying? The rip. Stop cutting. <laughs> Fucking Peter Afro doesn't even remember. No, you must be cutting. You just said the rip. He's lagging. I don't know. Because I thought it was me. Uh, uh, mind, uh, it was me. No, I, I can hear. I can hear it for fine. But, uh, so, um, yeah. What? what it, is he like? Is this even audible? Oh my God! Chrome froze. Uh. Oh, don't worry. Oh, I remember the scene uh, that the riddle is mentioning. It's when uh, they're comparing gods, and he's like, "When I, when I uh, no. uh, go in front of my god, when I die." No. Uh, I'm kind of of what scene this is? Yeah, no, I'll uh, go over it. I, I want Peter to talk about it. Well, I want Peter to talk about okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm trying, I'm trying me to make him know. Help me make him know. Peter's like, what was the riddle steal? Um, it's not a it's not a foreign Chinese movie. He probably can't remember. 
he's, he's not he's 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 not he's not disconnected. He's, just... <laughs> he's looking it up. He's looking it up on Google. He's googling. Oh no! The riddle is still entertaining. Peter Raffro needs to work on his film analysis skills. <laughs> oh no! Uh, this is the trail steal. Uh, our future door. Dude, I can't wait uh, to see the sequel to this. Yeah, like, I, I wonder. Write a letter to Hop. How come the sequel's rated PG, but the originals are? Like, Jeez, that's, so right, rip. that's the only reason I want to watch it. Oh yeah, there's so much fucking. Sex in this yeah, movie. the director was horny on set. All yeah, like <laughs> I honestly thought that the Darren movie was gonna be a porn. <laughs> gonna answer the question. What did you? What, did your mom have anything to say about all like the uh, one? Oh, is she okay with this one because uh, of reason? No. Is this better or worse in the room? You think by a woman? All right, I think Peter. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's so. It's not foreign films, <laughs> but it's like kind of the riddle of steel. All right, so it's it was mentioned right from the start of the yeah. Movie, his father believe, mentions it, right? Something like that. his father. Yeah. Well, it, it, it's unknown because it's. He said only that you should trust a only the blade will save you. Then he gets fucking then he gets slayed and gets eaten by dog. Well, as as, as he as he goes through his adventures, you know his companions. His these companions come to his aid. They help. Oh, him. so it proves his father they protect him. Yeah, it proves his father wrong. He can depend on others. He has to depend on others to. To me. Maybe maybe that's a part partly why his father perished like that because he didn't put his trust. Well, that's all they knew. I think you know he. I don't think those people, his village, they didn't go out into the world. Oh, they so they kind of their lives there. They know that's what they know. The village. And, and uh, so I think uh, the villain teaches uh, Conan. Oh, because uh, about... because the villain by being such a shithead the entire time, it teaches Conan how to be like. A I guess, like, well, no, like uh, he basically teaches uh, the riddle of steel is uh, the flesh is and steel, and then proceeds to get uh, decapitated by because, <laughs> like, he tells. I think he tells. Do he tells someone to kill themselves? And yes, yeah, so one of his cult members. Imagine being ten thousand years old and this muscly boy <laughs> at his command, and the person does it out. You know, with conviction, without thinking about their own safety, jump. So he can use these people as a weapon far stronger than steel is, because those people will fight for him. That's a good, they, um, I think that's a good uh, analysis. Uh, another another way to look at it is that it is the person wielding the steel, the one that is can know, I just... utilizing the tool going to use their power to overcome things, just like when was fighting one of the hair brothers at um, the Battle of the Mounds, and he breaks his father's sword. I, I, right through. I know this is random, yeah. but at the beginning of the movie, when Conan's fighting in the pits, like, when he's a slave, that is some of the worst dub, like, grunts I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> my god, it's like, uh, uh, <laughs> 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 the, the, the fucking the fucking classic Arnie. Yep. <laughs> you can tell it was dumb, did it too? Because it like plays like really. All right, and I guess at the Is Battle of the Mounds, uh, I think he's typing away. Yeah, he's doing this uh, report. Look at Peter. Yeah, it's a meme movie, so it doesn't matter. Um, so, at the Battle of the Mounds, Conan, before the battle, you know, when they're all, when they're, Dulce Doom and his goons are charging in, he prays to Crumb. says he's never prayed to Crumb because he doesn't have for it. And he's not very learned, you know, he doesn't know how. 
um, but he still does. You know, what do you find of significance in this prayer to his God? Uh, it could have a lot of Is there a significance? So it's like uh, that he was praying to it because it was like uh, you need some courage or something. <laughs> you were cutting out hard. Oh god, Peter, I forget um, better. Um, a sense of, uh, desperation. Desperation? Brandon? Wait. What do you, what significance do you find in how Conan, he prays to Crom, even though this is not something he normally does because he doesn't have the tongue? Well, this is mentioned early, this is mentioned early in the film that, uh, he was taught religion at camp, and that's all. So by him praying to this uh, God, it gives him comfort because it's really all he knows about this. But he doesn't do it normally. But he does it for th this battle when yeah, there's two against. Oh yeah, uh, it's like that one quote uh, before the battle. He's like, "Are the gods gonna help us?" And then the guy's like, "No." And then. They hmm. I honestly think the religion in that movie is just based on Viking religion. Like, it's structured very... Wait, with a kind of a fantasy touch. I kind of see that. There's a lot of real-world elements in it, too. Like, um... Like, the Mongols. It's kind of like... Why do you think people pray? I think people pray to give them comfort because they don't know what's after death. Or maybe they're hoping for some guidance. All that too. I I I'm not religious, so I can't really comment too much on it. Finding comfort, trying to find an answer from a what greater being that they believe in. Uh, maybe yeah. they've devoted their life. Exists like well, they might not even exist. Yeah, exactly. But that's where faith comes in, and I think that brings like uh, comfort. Um, there's one scene that I really liked in this too. It's uh, right after Conan kills the giant snake, and they like climb back up the the well, and that and that motherfucker pushes a girl into the pit, and she just dies. She doesn't like, die. Or she's screaming at the bottom of the pit, but the snake's still. So it's assumed she's either you know, starved to death down. Uh, she's she's upset that she saw the dead snake. Also, uh, the the snake or um. Doom's wife, like that motherfucker left her for dead and then tried to Oh the princess. Don't yeah. kill me. <laughs> <laughs> it was, he sees it to was try really to kill her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. with the, with when, he, when he tries to burn the and yeah. the, it throws that uh that uh, brazier and uh, just the starts a pathetic fire, then it cuts to like this just roaring I love how anti Diplomatic. So there's no like fancy sword fight, it's just Conan like going up to him and like sympathizing for him for a second and then like I don't think it's even sympathizing. I don't think there's any sympathy. Well, he thought uh, about it for a second, and then he's like, "Nope." <laughs> yeah, because he, I think uh, I think the big bad was trying. To I think so. so yeah, Thos of Doom has some sort of power to the way his even the name of the villain is Mad Max. Holy shit! Yeah, like because Thos of Doom did he did. Yep, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. He caused he caused the mother to uh, lower her sword before he cut yeah. head off, and he would probably have done the same to Conan. He, he didn't. Right. And then he just randomly throws his head down there. Oh, hey. I killed your king, motherfucker. Yeah, I, 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 I don't get why all the KKK members just kind of give up. Yeah, they could you know, easily like swarm him and kill. Him. That's how it is sometimes with the cults. It just shows how weak they are. Where, you know, what they believe in is gone. They're no longer going to be around. I mean, that's the thing. Thos of Doom was a god to them. Thos of Doom, he wanted to be... I mean, he could turn into a into a weird snake like... Uh, oh, yeah. Like yeah. Thos of Doom was their god. So they had nothing... Dude, I hope the them. villain in Conan the Destroyer is... Fun. But, yeah, that just goes to show you... How many Conan movies the are there? The snake one? and... Uh, the uh, whole two. group breaks up. You have Arnold, yeah, two. Conan oh, movies. man, they should have made, like, six of them. 
Yeah, they, they probably would have too, but there was some contract issues. Oh my god. I'm actually with. legit thinking about watching the remake and like cringing yeah, at it. Because it's probably going to be. Yeah. Do you recommend it for a future episode? Yeah, maybe you'll pay attention. The, the fucking uh, Aquaman actor is goddamn Conan. I th- oh my god. <laughs> Any questions from the. Oh, oh, forgot to get the base pin up for the description, nice. But yeah, we you got a very, very good question. Oh, let me go to the description. Add this. Of course, I actually took the time and I thought about it and stuff. I didn't just online. Uh, 20. You know, Peter, after probably zoned out, like, all the way through the movie. Um, he had a stream on still, and it was a he saw, he saw the sex scenes, it was just like, I don't know what you He's do. like, now nah, my mom will catch me and kick my, uh, kick my twink. Dude, Dude I'm an adult, I can watch porn, it'll be fine. Alright, so we got a question from Anonymous who asks, can we end racism? Uh, no, because it's inherited to human nature. We can't change it. Ooh, that's an interesting answer. Um, hey, r- racism is literally impossible to defeat. Like actual racism, not this meme racism. <laughs> we can't have wrong things. We can't uh, have any. I, the only way we can right. get rid of racism, if we call the racist. Like that's what we do, which is not practical. I'm but pretty sure. I think, like, I we think people ask if we can end racism. They should take a look in the mirror and just stop being racist. Themselves. So a lot of those people are. Pretty much. They think that only real, racism real racism. works one way. That, that's usually when somebody is actually racist. Don't always be racist their entire life. Like it's just usually how it. You can't change how people think like that. That and you shouldn't want to. I mean, that's total dystopian thought. They are, and they'll actually physically hurt them or. It doesn't happen often. Not as often as, pe- as people would like to. That's... Like, since the dawn of man, there's got to, there has to have been a racist since the dawn of man. And like, oh, hey, I fucking hate you because of the way you look. That's basically racist. There was tribalism. There was tribal. And there's been slavery since pretty much the dawn of man. Oh, one last thing about Conan. Okay. Oh, hey, Conan. He was... I love the fights in Conan. Like they have like a almost like a brutality about them that I really yeah, appreciate. Actually, even though most of it's obviously part of the movie, to be honest. I love that. Like when he like slices his sword into people, and like you see a blood gushing up before they fall over. That how that's fucking real shit. Yeah, really, like when he uses the big axe and hits him in the back. <laughs> and then he overkilled uh, do- one of Doom's guards or like higher up. Overall, like, it's not a terribly great movie, but it, it's enjoyable for being campy. <laughs> yeah. It's a good oh, one. I love it. It's a good like out of those, the six, uh, seven, uh, And, um, Arnold was, uh, uh, Arnold was very, um... <laughs> he would have been even more buff, but he couldn't swing his sword. That motherfucker was so buff. He, he probably used real fucking steel axes in the bet. They use real swords. His swords cost 10 grand. They probably weigh like 80 pounds and he swings them like they're nothing. Yeah, they actually use real swords. That's pretty epic and dangerous. Yeah, they cost 10 grand. And you grand. can tell they hired real sword. Uh, uh, they, you can tell they hired people that know how to do sword combat to train. Yeah, yeah. Oh, space. You got $250,000 for. And he, and he barely said he barely said lines in that movie. <laughs> it's total of like maybe forty lines in the entire. Yeah, that epic prayer. What do you mean? That's probably the best scene. <laughs> but yeah, I never. Okay, another thing I don't understand about Conan is uh, the battle that the battle towards the end where he only the says. Battle, the battle. Yeah, he sees his girlfriend for like three seconds. That's what Nathan talked about. You don't pay attention. Uh, I, I had to set the mic down for a second earlier. That's why. I... <laughs> uh, unfortunately. 
Yeah, so basically it was kind of like uh, she was kind of like a Valkyrie, so from heaven it was... Uh, you only live of... once, or do you want to live forever? Krom sending help to him. Dude, yeah, Krom, Krom's a real G. Krom more like G. Krom gave him his first sword. All right, I guess we're... Oh, Nathan. It's Nathan, Nathan. Oh, yeah, Nathan's your pick. That's right, I forgot. Yeah, that's your pick. To... Okay, um... Well, I've been thinking a little bit about it, and uh, probably, uh... I've been thinking... Later? Seen that. Yeah, later. Blade Runner, the original. Oh, classic. Ridley Scott, motherfucker. I've never seen it. Maybe. I've seen it. I just haven't seen it in like 10 years. You've never seen it? You want cultured swine? I've seen it. I just... It's I know. been like 10 years. Uh, and I don't really remember much from it other than like the cool cityscape. Sequel's also really good. Sequel's good, but like... I don't think it has a, a mark on the... You can tell it's a modern Ridley Scott uh, affair. Yeah, I think alien... Oh, wait, no, I have to pick Wait, Conan which Reeves. version of the movie should we watch? Ah, oh, dude, Conan and the Story is going to be such an epic discussion. Um, you know what? I'll leave that up to the film student. Uh, yeah, Petey, what's uh, your... Uh, Final Cut you is the only one I've seen. It's supposed to be the best cut. Final Cut. Final because cut I is... don't want to get involved in all that autism about which version's the right version. <laughs> Petey said Final Cut. Too much for me. I kind of like how... Uh, like... <laughs> Okay. Yeah, just watch whatever cut you want. Cause this shit. Yeah, no, but the same thing could be like weird bitches if we watch different cuts and we're like. Either hey. most cuts are just like yeah, a few scenes be, added. We watch. We're watching Final Cut. Final Cut. It, random. Does it? Get off my. Get him. Random. What happened? Just to your girlfriend that said she was gonna shit in your. Fuck off, Alico. Saltines or something. When Brandit's mods and his channels. One day life, said, uh, life took a shit in Peter Afro's mouth. They had to uh, take a shit and they're like, Brandon, open up. <laughs> Brandon's probably giddy. Dude, Peter uh, Afro is... This is, a, this is a good time to end the episode. <laughs> Alright. Let's call it on that. Hey, it was a better episode than last week. It was a oh, good it was discussion. Last week was pretty good. I Actually, oh yeah, the right. discussion was good. It just had less people. Brandon didn't watch the movie. Yeah, I didn't watch the movie last week. Nathan was asleep, so yeah, no, I. It's I pretty much me and Peter. Was... Now it's just me and Alucard and Nathan because Peter Afro didn't pay attention to the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Closed live on air. Uh, Brandon Scat Hill, so yeah, oh, God bless him. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna All right, sleep, go to uh, sleep. Good night. Good night. Take care. <laughs> All right, uh, mm, nice episode. Yep, Brandon, you gonna play Toy 2 now? Or are you gonna work on? Oh, he's dead. Oh, at least that woke me up. I was falling asleep, waiting for this to start. Okay. Alright, peace out.